got a lot of co-hosts suspended up here about 50 feet or so. Just dropping our plug cut herring down. Kind of get down within uh, where they're hanging. And we just let free fall. Sometimes I grab it on the drop. And then I will switch gears here. And just simply start reeling up. Change direction, change speed. Go. He just hit you right on the surface? No, I was dropping it down and he grabbed it. Oof. Yeah, nice little coho. Yeah. Oh, a decent yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, I got that. Yeah. And just like that. Just like that, man. Dropping the hearing. <laughs> hey, we're out here on North Puget Sound this morning with Tai Charters, uh, Matt McCullough, and I tell you what, we're catching these resident coho mooching herring, believe it or not. A lot of guys will fish hardware out here, but this morning we're mooching herring. We're gonna show you how to do that. Uh, next couple, uh, next couple fish we're getting all coming on herring. The early fishery, we're looking for fish that are in the two to four pound range. Um, come late August, September, those same fish could be in the six to eight pound range. Um, terrific fish on light tackle. Uh, tend to have plenty of action on them. All right, getting ready to drop this back down again. We're just mooching plug cut herring. Uh, pretty simple rig, very common rig. A lot of people use out here on Puget Sound. Four ounce lead, and get in the water here and release the release the spool. And we just let this basically free fall. Drop it down about that 50 to 75 foot water column. We're probably Matt's keeping us in about 150, 200 foot of water. And these coho are suspended up, so we're only dropping down 50 to 75 feet. Just let it free spool, and that. That herring's just basically going down spinning. And then you just start cranking them back up. And as we reel up, we change speed, we change orientation, direction the, the herring's traveling. And oftentimes they'll grab it either on the retrieve, or now I'm gonna free spool back down and we'll see if one doesn't grab it on the drop. <laughs> Look at that. Big Woo, things are running. Oh, oh yeah. watch the motor. Yeah, no, we're, we're all good. Big B. Yeah, coming behind you, Chase. There we go. That's a little better. All right. Cool. Get back in the boat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pretty. Here you go. Hey, blue colors to that. Look at that. Beautiful. Matt, these are uh, these are Puget Sound resident coho. Correct. correct. Yes. And this is about a two pound fish right now. Yep. But later in the year, maybe around August, September, these fish will put some size on, won't they? Yeah, definitely. They'll get up in the five pound range, six pound range. Uh, heavily feeding on krill right now, but we're catching them on herring. Yeah. Just some fire brine. Interesting. So we're out here mooching herring. He's got me on the knuckle buster, and it's a kick in the pants. The fish aren't real big right now, but on a light rod, light setup. And mooch and herring, uh, we're literally hitting a fish almost every time we drop the bait down. So, uh, pretty exciting little morning. We got a handful more that we get to catch, and uh, it's going good. Better than the last one? Yeah, he hammered it too. Ooh, look at that guy go. Uh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. That's the difference, man. Catching our own bait. Completely matching the hatch with natural bait out here. Quick little blast, splash in the fire brine. That's a good one. All right, there we go. Nice. So we're using a sabiki rig to catch uh, fresh herring. And uh, we're gonna cut plug them and dip them in the fire brine just to Give them a little scent and a little look. Got another double. Big D we think has a Chinook that's gonna have to be released. But Matt might have a coal. We don't know yet. Big D. A clip popper. The growly clip. And a bald eagle, all in the same shot. Is it a go? Yeah, a little black mouth here. Black mouth. He's got to go home too. Yeah. For the black mouth, he's going to go home. 
Oh, I see the flasher okay. and I see yeah. the fish. Angry. And he's not ready to come in. There you go, little side pressure. Little fish. Oh, don't do that. Oh, he has put up a good fight. Yeah, he did. That's a black now. Jesus. That didn't work. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's what I can imagine. Mm -hmm. Got you. <clears throat> so this is a hatchery Chinook. Now if we were in season, that's a keeper. Yeah. That's 22 incher. Oh, yeah. He's got to go. Nice home. Black mouth. Yeah. You're going to release him? Yeah. Let him go. See ya. Ooh. Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from Ballard, Washington. We're not far from Seattle. Matter of fact, we're only about a 15 minute drive from downtown Seattle. You can see the Space Needle from where we actually fished today. Now, we went out and did a little resident co fishing. Remember, this is different than normal co fishing. These are fish that stay here all year. They don't get as large, but you know what? They eat very well, have beautiful meat, and they're fun to catch on light tackle. Now, we caught all of our fish today on one technique. We use natural, Firebrine herring. We actually caught a few herring ourselves out there today when we ran out of bait and we had package herring. Simple as that. Put some herring in the water. Now we did mostly mooching. We started the morning off, we mooched. We caught fish on almost every single drop. And then last half an hour of the day, did a little bit of trolling. Caught a couple of uh, black mount there as well that had to be released. But what a great day fishing Puget Sound.